Hello and welcome to another JMP video, I'm the host of Nettie and welcome to another installment of my Trove class Hidden FX. This is a series where I will be going over all Hidden FX and Crystal Rings. I will be going over one class per video and I will try to explain how does every single Hidden FX works. These are all solo hand tested so there will be a lot of estimation on some of these tests and abilities. So if you have any of the correct values of any of these videos, make sure to drop them in the comment section down below. In the next episode I will be doing the Shadow Hunters Hidden FX video since this is the class that is confirmed to be the next class up for rework. So I want to do this class first because I want to do the class before the rework and if it does actually get changed after the rework then I will be doing a separate video but if it didn't then I will just leave it as a comment of that video. But I will still leave a poll and that poll is just going to be for the episode after the Shadowhunter video. Alright? So. Like always, make sure to drop a like since it does help me out more than you think, and also subscribe, we're on a road to 4k subscribers. And with all that being said, let's get started with the Chloromancer's Hidden Effects. The Chloromancer has 3 hidden effects which are going to be called Phyto Barrier, Weird Growth, and Gatling Gatling Gatling. Starting off with Phyto Barrier which reads, creates a shield at low health that blocks damage. A little fun fact regarding this ring ability. Fighter Barrier is actually the Chloromancer's passive ability before the rework, and this ring effect works exactly the same way as it did when it was a passive ability. So, upon reaching 50% of your HP, you're going to create a shield, that shield is going to absorb all damage for the whole duration. But, if you do take enough damage with the shield up, the shield will break. This shield has 30% of the Chloromancer's actual HP, so if you take damage equal to 30% of your HP, when this shield is active, then the shield will break. If it doesn't break, then it, this shield will last for 15 seconds. This also has a 15 seconds of cooldown, but it will start as soon as the shield spawns. So if you manage to keep up the shield for the whole 15 second duration, this means that this shield will refresh and will respawn as soon as you do hit 50% HP once again. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This wasn't a good ability when it was a passive ability and it's going to be even less useful as a ring ability considering that there are other options that are just better. I'm going to say a hard skip on this ability. It's a 30% HP shield on a class that is all about DPS so for the most part it's just going to absorb 1 or 2 hits every 15 seconds. And nah, def definitely a hard skip, there are better options out there. Next up, the second ability is going to be called Weird Growth which reads after dealing damage, gain a buff that spawns plants randomly nearby for a short time. Alright, this ability is very weird, no pun intended, and I was very confused when I was doing the testing of this ability because there's no indication that this ability is active, it just spawns randomly out of nowhere. So keep this one in mind. So how it works is every time you do damage an enemy from any damage source, so basic attack, any type of ability, heck, even in power gem abilities actually work with this ability, you're going to get a buff that spawns all types of plants randomly around the Chloromancer, which includes the mini bloom passive, the regular green gatling, and the regular leafy lasher. This will not spawn any of the ultimate ability upgrades from both leafy lasher and green gatling if you do have the ult active. Now, like I just mentioned, there's no indication that this ability is active in any way, shape, or form. So the following numbers and properties are going to be estimation and speculation. Alright, here we go. So, the properties are going to be as follow. Every time you do hit an enemy, it seems to be either 100% or very high chance to actually activate this ability. So it will activate as soon as you actually do hit an enemy. It does not seem to have a cooldown and it will just refresh the timer every time you do hit an enemy. So the uptime is also very high. The duration seems to be around 20 to 25 seconds if you don't hit any enemies and the plants that spawn randomly around the Chloromancer, from what I could tell they spawn no more than 3 blocks away from the Chloromancer and none of these plants actually exceed the limits of any of these plants or the regular limits. So Leafy Lasher is still going to be at 2 plant limit, Green Gallon is still 3 and the mini bloom is still going to be four. So yeah, if one of these just randomly spawn when you have three green gatlings or something like that, 
then one of them is going to disappear. Yes, I know about the range limit uh, on the green gatling and allowing you to actually spawn more than three plants. Well, on any plant, it actually does work. So just letting you know on that one. That yes, I am well aware that that is the case, but I'm just talking about the actual limit of the plants. And lastly, for some reason, this ability doesn't seem to work in either the hub or club world. Now, these are going to be all of the notes that I found out. And yes, this ability is very weird. And my final verdict on this ability is going to be that it's okay. The fact that it's a practically 100% uptime is good. The fact that there's no setup required is also very good. But the benefits are just too inconsistent and generally you're not going to see a lot of difference with this ability or not and so i will say use it if you want but don't expect any high like really good results uh, definitely it's going to be an upgrade for nothing but it's just going to be a, a very small upgrade at that now on to the last ability which is going to be gatling 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 which reads basic attack has a chance to spawn mini green gatling mini green gatling has a chance to spawn mini mini green gatlings so this is the ability that I'm pretty sure everyone's been waiting for me to actually check out because it's literally more DPS for the already ridiculous DPS machine that is the Chloromancer. I'm going to say this, do not put this ability as an ability that if you're not using that you're not playing the class correctly category. And I'm going to be explaining what I mean later on after I explain the properties. So every time you do hit an enemy, there's around 5% chance to spawn a mini green Gatling. This mini green Gatling has the same property as the regular green gatling that is not tied to the ultimate ability as seen it does the same 1.6 times damage multiplier it does 20 lines of damage per burst and it only does one burst in total it targets a random enemy single target and you can have up to a maximum of three plants at the same time but it's going to be separated with the actual green gatling so you can have three regular green gatling and three mini green gatlings at the same time and when this mini green gatling does damage, it will spawn a mini mini green gatling. And from my testing, it will always spawn one mini mini green gatling guaranteed. And this mini mini green gatling also has the same properties as the regular green gatling and the mini green gatling. So 1.6 times damage multiplier per line, 20 lines of damage per burst, one burst total, three plant limit, target at random, single target. And yeah, like I just previously mentioned, you can have three regular green gatling three mini green gatling and three mini mini green gatlings all at the same time and that's pretty much the ability now this ability is very strong i'm not going to deny it and i will probably just say yes get this ability but this ability is not a must will it help out in dps yes is it the best ring ability for chloromancer yes is it something that you will notice a difference yes especially against those enemies that are just extremely tanky like gladiator bosses and if you don't have any flash against you know the leviathan or delve bosses but do you actually need this ability maybe this ability has been on a hot topic amongst end game player or pretty much any type of player alike and from my experience this is what i found out this ability serves as a neat bonus for dealing with bosses that are just too tanky so deep delves gladiator bosses and when you have no flask and aside from that in reality it's not going to make a huge difference chloromancer already does ridiculously high dps so if you're doing exp delve so mid delving then you're going to kill the bosses before this ability even takes place because all of the setup that you normally do with the chloromancer before you actually spawn the boss and this is going to be even more apparent with multiple players. So with multiple players, this ability is going to be even less effective because you're going to kill the boss before this ability takes place. Remember, it's only a 5% chance to spawn. It is not something that is going to spawn all the time guaranteed. So the uptime is not high on this ability. So yes, you're definitely not going to notice a huge difference with this ability, but it's definitely going to be a neat bonus. So TLDR, yes, get this ability, but don't think this ability is the make it or break it for you to actually just go into deep delving or not. This is going to serve more as a neat bonus that you're definitely going to notice from time to time. Like let's just say, for example, a really high damage in damage over time. Let's just take that for example. And yeah, that's essentially going to be it with this ability. It's just going to be something that is going to help out with super tanky enemies. And that's it. Thank you for watching as always, and this has been the hidden effects for the Chloromancer. Mm -hmm.